Well friends, in this video, you are going to go shop with me at three different thrift stores and then dance around the barn, come back here to the house and I'll show you in detail everything that we got. So let's go into our first thrift store now, yay. Okay, so this is the 50 cent area. I've already found a few 50 cent water bottles. Got another 50 cent cup. 50 cents, 25. Another 50 cent one, don't mind if I do. This looks pretty serious here. Covenant of love, whoa. Roly poly oly, the mama nostalgia. So I'm looking for horse and animal chapter books here. That might be fun. We're gonna do the sound, right? We're gonna do, I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem don't have a problem I don't have a problem you've heard I'm sure you've heard that on TikTok, right this is me this is my version there's no problem here there's no problems whatsoever it's all good look at these I hope these dear America my name is America books are good oh my look at that oh cannot like I want to read them now all of them again no problem no problem we don't have a problem Very good one if you haven't read that one yet. Lots of good ones here we have. Oh, I don't think we have a hard copy. 17 things I'm not allowed to do anymore. That looks very appropriate. City of Orphans. I had no idea this was a book. I thought it was just the movie. What do I know? Over 1 million copies sold. Well, finally I'm coming to it. this one today other treasures that have been found look at this all these farm animals for five dollars and then there's another one here I'll hand you that one got these big cows wow and the horns yeah, wow that's cows. special Fun. They have a whole rack of boots here. These are pretty. We have found the cow prints. Moo. I don't know. Let's see, some are 50 cents, some are two dollars. 50 cent cups. It's a cookie Cute jar. It is. Now we just found another cow cookie jar. It's the cow cookie jar day. Am I gonna regret not getting these? Lots of nice little vintage dishes. So this is a little two-piece set. You get the little rose teacup and the saucer for $1.50. It's another little two-piece set. You get the little cup and saucer for $1.50. Mother's Day 1974. This is a little three-piece set for $4. So it must be this little sugar bowl and cream pitcher. This plate's a dollar. There's a little teapot for 12. Here's another teapot for 12 and another one for nine. This fancy schmancy one, it's a two piece set for 25. We have lots of 50% off this week. Oh, we just, Amelia and I are saying, we love thrift stores, we love thrift stores. And boy, this is like the queen thrift store. I love it. 
Nice, six dollars, three piece set. Okay, I feel like water bottles and books are my I don't have a problem song, okay? Okay, we did get a bunch already for like 50 cents. Mm-hmm, what do they have going on over here though? I can't have too many. I have yet to have a time in life where I have so many water bottles and I say, I don't need any more water bottles. Oh, see, only a dollar. Look, look at this cat teapot. Yeah, I saw this, it's so cute. <laughs> Ten dollars, and that's a precious one for eight dollars. Oh, that is cute, 75 cents for Sundays. Now there's a sad chicken for three dollars. That makes me sad, I don't want to get that chicken. Now we do have those chickens. Let's see here. Two piece set, seven dollars. Very nice price. I'll miss those later and say I wish I got them. All this nice stoneware down here. So dollar fifty. This is a dollar. Just reading it. Stone Manor. All these little cups are a dollar. That bowl seven fifty. Salt and pepper shakers, three dollars. So we have this. $22. It's a whole deep pan for $6. Precious little Peter Rabbit cup and bowl set for $0.50. Cents. Wow, Lunch Prep Central. Look at these sandwich boxes. They are $0.50 cents each. They all have different little designs on them. So nice. Everything is here. All these little like salad dressing size containers for $1.50. So this is really nice for outdoor food and grilling. $3 for both of them. Keep the bugs off. Nice, and lots of other baskets, of course. This is a precious little kitchen prayer. Maybe I can hang it beside my sink. Precious. Here we go, a dollar, bunch of little tooth bags for the tooth fairy. It's a platter for $7. Again, so many, the water bottle here for me. This is the place. The place is here. $8. 12 little goose or duck napkin rings. $20 special tea set. Now this is fun. $18 for this seven piece set. Wow, so many fun vintage things here. So this is $14.50. $1.50 each. No drip gravy separator, six fifty. Thank you. We always find the chickens, don't we? So cute. Precious little cups. Okay, twenty two fifty. We have the little egg holder. Oh, that's precious. Look, look here. Isn't <laughs> that precious? So we got a little coffee set. All the little spoons, the spoons you can collect. Such a nice chair, $25. Vintage wood rocker, leather seat. And I always love these handmade things. Nice big crocheted cover, $5. And then a ton of vintage Pyrex. $14, $9.50, $24.50 for the three bowls, $9.50, $12.50, fun stuff. Now this is neat, $69, antique dark wood podium with drawers, missing some of them. It's a neat bowl, only $10. More cows. Oh, and, and a chicken. I have an eye for them, haha. -ha. <laughs> nice. What does this say? Oh, Amsterdam. Nice, nice, nice. More chickens. Chicken meter. This is precious. Look at 
that for my new living room, haha, -ha, $2.50. So all the craft supplies ever, fabric, lovely. Look at this, buttons and fill bags for 50 cents or a dollar. Okay, every wire or adapter you might need for 50 cents. Vintage typewriter, $20. Okay, good place for knives, forks, and spoons. And then all kinds of utensils. And they had all kinds of candy jars, but they have one of these vintage mason jars for $7.50, so Mama's getting it. So now we are in a Goodwill and we're going to see what's here at this Goodwill. Seeing what sizes these are. 3T. We'll be back there before we know it. Got some cute little Star Wars GMEs. Maybe. I'll be there in a minute. Here's some cute little Snow Monster 2T jammies. So unfortunately these Toms are 8.5 but fortunate for whoever wears an 8.5. How nice. So here we got a scarecrow. Oh, a very nice animal origami. $2.99. Looks good. I wonder, does it still have the paper in it? Some paper, yay. Some mixing bowls. How much are these? $2.99 each. There's two of them in there. Chocolate girl, I hear you, girl. Here's a talking microscope for $4.99. Bunch of little dishes. Looks like they're $1.99 each. A Corel. Sorry, I didn't show that. Some precious little glasses, 99 cents each. Get this for Tobin, he'll like that. 99 cents of fun. Of course, little chicken cup for 99 cents. Now, let's see, are these little shelves? I think so. 4.99, looks like there's three of them there, like little knickknack shelves. There's some photo albums. Daniel. Is that still a cool thing? Oh, yeah. This is really cute. Look at this. Dollar ninety-nine. Cute. $2.99 for Nostalgia Edition Candyland. And then we got Baker's Gonna Bake. We don't need to pay $1.99 for the L.L. Bean water bottle, but looks like Rhonda was done with it. We've also found Mr. Wright's Cup for $0.99. Cents. Saved by Grace and Coffee. Cute little fire truck. We got My Favorite People Call Me Nana. Got lots of harvest stuff in here now. So it looks like their water bottle prices are $1.99 here. It's a nice little piece for $2.99. Really pretty horse glass set, 99 cents each. I wonder if they look like they're hand painted. This is a Stuart size cup. 
Very nice, very nice, very big. This original tornado mixer gift set, $3.99. We have froth max for $1.99. Okay, it is a cart overflowing full of toys. I will explain later. So I, I know the sun, the sun is blinding us, but we are on our way now to the third fifth store of the day. It is another fantastic Goodwill that I have taken you in many times. So let's go see what is at this other Goodwill. Now we're in another Goodwill, and look what has greeted us. Virginia Girl Cow shirt. So we got Amelia the Farm Girl shirt, and then that, that's a cute jacket. Looks like a good farm, farm girl outdoor, outdoor wear. Five ninety nine 99 roller skates. They look too small, don't they? Maybe a little bit. Well, I think they're too small. I could try them on. They're a size 12 in youth. You're past that, sweetie. Got lots of little jars here. The music is really loud in here. Now there's no price on this, so we learned at the last Goodwill if there's no price they may not sell it to me, but I'm going to try and hopefully get it for a dollar because she's a dollar good. And I have found my words now. Here's the cute farm girl little fleece there. It's not fleece, but there are words to describe it and insert those words here. Looks good, looks good. Here's a farm party. Happy birthday farm. A little farmer, $1.99. Well, we're gonna have Tobin's second birthday coming up. It's a purple bar ball jar. I'm gonna get it.
see what the price is. Three dollars. That's a pretty. That's a good price. You want that for your desk? Yeah. I have a whole set of these. Several of you have asked me where I got them, and I got mine at Walmart. This one is seven ninety nine here. So someone had donated all of their stamp collection, looks like. So many stamps, and then even bags of stamps. And then this one, wow. Here's actually all the stamp pads that probably go with those stamps. I'm just gonna help them out and put them together. There's a whirly pop for $3.99. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, friends, I am back from all of that fantastic, fun thrift store shopping with me. And again, we don't have a problem with books. There is no problem here. Let's see everything that I got. Okay, so let's just jump in with what is super important. Hello, beautiful Afghans. There was another Afghan there that I thought was very nice, but we left it there. This one could not be left. Okay, this is like one of those little lap Afghans, $4.50. I could not say no. I think I'm gonna actually keep this in one of our little chairs here in the sitting area. I love it. It is beautiful. Someone's grandma made this. I just love everything about it. I love it. It is beautiful. It talked to me. Okay, so this one, $4, $4.50 good. This is like a full-size bed one. It is beautiful, so much detail. It was $5. This is very nice. I mean, one of my kids would use this on their bed. And uh, yeah, five whole dollars, I would try to hold this out for you. It does have one little area that needs repaired and I have someone who can do that. Can you see this? Can I wear it? Do you see the beauty? $5 good. Let me know in the comments if you would have bought this for $5. I can't leave stuff like that. I got a beautiful one for my 19 year old that was all these different greens and blues that honestly reminded me of a Minecraft Afghan. Got that for him, I don't know. When did I get it? What, what video was it? Was it a year ago or so? Anyway, he uses it on his bed all the time. Okay, I did, so this is a hodgepodge of all three thrift stores, but most of these items, a good bit, came from Gift and Thrift here in the Shenandoah Valley. Now, these shark jammies, these were from a Goodwill, they're Carter's. They were $2.99, but there was a percentage off. They're size seven, and the pants. The pants are not here, so I need to find those, but that was a two-piece set. Also, in a Goodwill for Tobin, uh, here's a Carter's 2T, just cute little jammies with the snow monster on them, $2.99. Um, in another Goodwill, I got this for Amelia. See, it says Virginia girl, we got a cow. It says Virginia, it says Simply Southern. I guess that's a brand name, what do I know? And uh, $4.99 for that shirt. And then this is also for her, uh, let's see, a lady small. $4.99, an Orvis brand. So she would just wear this to like go collect eggs or go walk in the woods, go catch a pig. It's just a nice, nice farm girl, long sleeve tee. Uh, for some reason, I'm just coming way down here. This is, you know, I go through this thing. I have big purses, I have little purses, and I like to keep a little purse in the van or just have one available. And I purge stuff and then I'll end up, oh wait, I need another little purse. So anyway, just a cute little, I uh, just gotta go into 7-Eleven or who knows what. $4.50, do we have a brand name? Oh, come on, focus. Okay, Croft, it is a Croft and Borrow. Okay, okay. Lots of nice little pockets in here. Again, $4.50, 
Mama's got to run in the feed store and I don't want to take my suitcase of a bag. So I throw like phone and wallet in here, okay? Or if Travis and I are going to Cracker Barrel because that's what moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas do. Again, a lip gloss, a phone, my wallet, pack of tissues, I don't know. Not much, okay? I would use that. Now this whirly pop, I didn't know what a whirly pop was. And we're not even talking about all these toys down here yet. There's a plan, don't worry. Okay, also we have freehand drawing for architects and interior designers. I did not pay $30 for this book. I think I paid a dollar for it. I have all kinds of artists here. That looks like Frank Lloyd Wright, doesn't it? And so, I mean, I don't know how architects and designers are inspired, but they do. And I thought this would be a fantastic book to have in our art library. Yes, yes. Also, $1.99, 10 foot long. It's a jumbo letter banner kit. Now, I think for Tobin's birthday last year, actually, I know, we had a barnyard, a little farm birthday. But for $2, I was like, happy birthday, farmer. We could do it again, and we could use to get us started at least, the banner in this kit. Now, this I thought was, I mean, how cute is this, right? Perfect, precious little hedgehog for our fun little teacups. Looks like it was a Walmart brand. I got it for a dollar. Okay, so this is from Gift and Thrift. I was just thinking about putting this maybe in my new living room when that happens. I mean, for $2.50, I can get it and hang on to it. Worst that'll happen, which isn't bad, is that I just pass it on, give it to a friend or, or pass it back to a thrift store. But it is a one-room schoolhouse, and that is very similar to what our homeschool looks like. So it was just precious to me, and for the price, I thought, I'll take that coming down here. I'm going to get into the books. Oh, I know. I saw what the Whirly Pop was. I? When I get kids talking to me and other things happening while filming, because, you know, real life here, I, I'm like, where were we? I didn't know what a Whirly Pop was. And for $3.99, I thought, well, we could try a Whirly Pop. So I looked them up on Amazon, and they were anywhere. It's going to, oh, I'm going to make a noise. Um, anywhere from $40 to $75. And so you put popcorn in it. And this little door over here opens. I wasn't sure last night if um, something was wrong with the little gears up here. I think it's okay, though. I'm going to let Travis figure it out for us, and the kids will enjoy it. Hello, water bottles that we also don't have a problem with. One of my viewers really helped me out because in a recent video, well, in my Christmas stockings, all my kids got a nice water bottle and you know, kids and spouses and you know, just every, everybody got a water bottle. Who's under my little wing here, right? And then I found another good deal on water bottles at the thrift store and I was like, oh, for 50 cents and a dollar, even $2, I just paid $20 for nice water bottles. I need water bottles. So yeah, I got a lot of 50 cent and $1 and 75 cent water bottles. I am stocking up on water bottles because we have tons of evening sports right now. I have tons of kids. I think I need 100 water bottles so that I always have, I don't know, five or seven ready to go. So let me show you the ones I got. And when they're 50 cents, it's okay. Okay, oh, and this this is just for my kid cut basket. So this was 99 cents, but it's Donald Duck. This was 25 cents. This is a thermos brand for 50 cents. This is just a federal credit union in our area for 50 cents. Both of these Rubbermaid ones were 50 cents. This looks like a nice quality water bottle, one whole dollar. Uh, this one, it just soothes me. Okay, this one was $1.50. These are always nice. I've gotten these at Costco before, but never for 75 cents. This one looked cool with a little insulated filling there, 75 cents. This one was 75 cents. And this is just a sippy cup. I mean, everything will be washed here also for 50 cents. So that's, yeah, my, my beverages haul. Also at Gift and Thrift, this was a little pricey, but I do slowly collect these vintage ball mason jars. This was $7.50 with one of the vintage lids. So that was a mama special thing. Now this one is, um, it has... Looks like some Christmas bows in it. Oh, we got all kinds. Okay, I, I have someone in my life who will like these. They're all purple like the jar. This is not a vintage piece, but 
I mean, if I hold it up, it is a purple and it was $1.99 with some pretty purple things in it. Oh, what does this say? Yeah, so I think it's just a, like a replica. So got that because it is cool and why not because it's purple. This one of my kiddos just wanted for a decoration on their desk and this little shelf they also wanted to, to just decorate, do some fun things on their desk. So I got that for them. Now down here, what about the toys? Well, okay, I will say, same kiddo. This needs dusted off, but this was $2.99, and so they wanted that also for their desk organization, so sure. And then also we have these little, whoop, 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 just, you know, little sandwich holders for 50 cents. So I picked those up as well. Now, with the toys, we have someone got rid of their Paw Patrol stuff, getting ready for Christmas. That's what I think we have here. So $4.99, a lot of this was, let's see, $2.99 for Tobin, 99 cents here for that. This guy, what are you? What was your price? We'll say 99 cents. These, these, okay, these were $3.99. This helicopter, $2.99. This guy here, I think this was a PJ Mask thing, isn't it? $2.99. This big ship, which it doesn't have the pups anymore, but we have them, was $4.99. I mean, how could I not? I can't pull it all apart here because I'm a mom. But, okay, this little bus I thought was so cute. It was $1.99, and I think it's got, yes, whoop. Okay, I mean, how cute is that? We also have a Batman jail and we have Bowser's castle, $2.99. This was $1.99. So all of these, let me tell you what all of these are for. All of those toys, okay? Those are for outside playtime fun. Now we do need to go through our outside toys, bag up our broken ones, do some early spring cleaning, but these toys are gonna be fresh outside play toys. There's gonna be like mud pies made in them and little acorn caps and sticks and stones and all those things are going to go down in these toys. It's gonna to be a lot of fun. We will probably get you know a spring or summer out of them. They will have served their purpose. They will move on. Some things hang out for a couple years, some things don't. But when you get these great toys at the thrift store, we can play hard with them, yay. Okay, and now, now, you know, we're here for the books, right? So many great books. Okay, well, I found, now I love all things THM, all things Trim Healthy Mama. I have a friend who's been needing the books. These books, let's see, this one I think was four, yeah, four dollars. So I'm going to give that to her. And then this one was two dollars. So there you go. Saved her $40. That was $6. This looked really neat. Now, some of these, I, I know nothing about the author. I know nothing about the history. I'm going on titles. But remembering your story, creating your own spiritual autobiography. I think these are both the same book. A Guide to a Spiritual Autobiography, Remembering Your Story. I think this is the updated version. But I got a little confused, and so I got them both. I thought those would be interesting. Also. So I am doing this same one year chronological Bible. I have this exact same one that I'm using. So it's chronological and it's broken down for the dates. So anyway, I got this for one of my teens who also wanted these. I saw it there. So hey, I don't have to order it on Amazon. All right. And so in here, well, some other... Dr. Seuss ones that we don't have. I'm not going to get up today. That looked like fun. Maybe you should fly a jet. Maybe you should be a vet. Okay, that, I love it. Um, oh, you, oh, let's see if I can say it. Oh, the thinks you can think. Sounds like fun. Love it. Uh, hello, Kumbacha. Uh, yes, okay. $1.50. I'll take it. All kinds of great recipes and such in here to try. Says it includes 50 recipes. The amazing probiotic tea that cleanses, heals, energizes, and de detoxifies. So, um, 
I just smiled when I read this title, 17 Things I'm Not Allowed to Do Anymore. Sounds like fun. Then I think I told you in the store, I didn't know it was a book. What do I know? Okay. Then we've had several copies of The Magic School Bus Lost in the Solar System over the years. This is a hard copy, so you know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll last a kid or two. Roly Poly Oli, most of my kids do not know, but my 22-year-old son, we used to watch Roly Poly Oli, so now I can read his kid, Roly. Snowy Roly, right? Okay, and we have so many good books here. Okay, this looked like a good one to read. Um, I uh, don't, again, I don't know. I know this is a Newberry winner, so we shall see. Misty of Chicatique. I want to collect all of those uh, Margaret Henry books. And then we have The Silver War Diary of Amelia Martin. Looked interesting. I got lots of these Dear America books. The Coal Miner's Bride. She looks like a young child. Let's see what that's about. Uh, the Journal of Joshua Looper. Um, wonder, I'm not sure, I think one of my teens might, I think we may have gotten this, but again, for, you know, the dollar fifty, I didn't, I didn't want to not get it, uh, and then this, a Chinese miner, looked very interesting, so that's Dear America series, and so we're going to go through those, let's see, what is in here, hmm, Oh, I know what this was. And look, they wrapped it in like some old, an old sewing pattern. I just thought this was a sweet little kitchen prayer. Uh, let's see, decorative purposes, kitchen prayer. Bless, bless my little kitchen, Lord. I love its every nook. And bless me as I do my work. Wash my pots and pans and cook. May the meals that I prepare be seasoned from above with thy blessing and thy grace, but most of all thy love. So I just thought, I mean, maybe I could hang it on the side of my sink over there. Made my heart happy, so we got that. Uh, but I thought, look at this, what great wrapping. Okay. Oh, this was another, um, the power of the story. Again, I don't know the author. You have a story to tell. This book will help you tell it. Help me, help me. Okay, so it's a dollar. And then, let's see. Oh, so many good. So we got bunnies in the bathroom. Twin bunnies are double trouble, I tell you. Okay, this is the Animal Arc series. Then we got foals in the field. And then all animal art, kitten in the cold, the secret kitten, man o' oh war. And actually my mom, uh, she was so many horse stories, but she was telling me today, she usually rides in that briar fest they have at Kentucky Horse Park. And last time she went, there was a gentleman there that had actually been one of Man o' War's grooms, and so that was neat. And then we have the Island Stallion. And then we have, okay, yes, this is the Guardians of Gahul, if I'm saying that right. And we need to get, like, the whole series. Okay, but I got book one, two, and three. And we had one of the random books many years ago. Anyway, it was a good one, and I thought, oh, I should have this whole series. I have lots of folks who'd like that. So it's book one, book two, book three. Uh, then I got a copy of The Help. I've seen the movie. I've never read the book. Um, then The Orchardist. Now, again, sometimes you got to watch these New York Times bestsellers. Sometimes they have um, some sensual parts in the books that you, you may not know are coming at you. So I haven't read this one yet, uh, but it was $2, and I like the cover. Could be interesting. Okay, we've got City of Orphans. That looked very good. We have uh, Haley's Bible Handbook, which is good. Another, there's no place like space, all about the solar system. This is a Dragon's Nest book. Then, uh, again, I was like, oh, the one I want to read this weekend, Irene's Children. The Extraordinary Woman Who Saved Thousands of Children from a Warsaw Ghetto. So uh, that looks... Mm, I want to read it now. Can I download it to me? Oh, it's part of the Oscar Schindler story. Okay. Hmm. 
Yes, okay, so much. We can't stop to read it now. This one, Devotions for Homeschool Moms. And then we don't have any from this series. I don't know if my kids would like it or not, but I got one for us to try. Um, Brave Like My Brother also looks like probably a good story. Antarctica, The Journey to the Pole. Um, then I got one on Titanic. One on uh, Young Civil Rights Heroes. One on Heroes of Hurricane Katrina. And then Heroes of 9-11. Because for kids today, this is like a million years ago. So here are all my goodies in this haul. So at one Goodwill, I spent $37. I rounded up. And then at the other Goodwill, is this the Goodwill? Yes. I spent $66. I can't put my hands on my gift and thrift receipt, but I feel like it was $97. I got a lot of books, I got a lot of things. Gift and thrift was good to us. We really enjoy that store.